Okay. So then we're just going to level up each of the legs. Not very level. That's right. That one can come down a bit. I'll try and level it up so the centre is touching the ground. Put the pegs in. Haven't got pegs to put in. Well, we got the pegs, it's just too hard here. So then we got the mast. So the mast attaches to here and to here. Things. With these two thumb screws. Thank you. It's probably a good time just to have a look at the mast, make sure it's fairly level before it goes up and adjust the feet accordingly. This is the guide rope. So Dan goes to the base. And yep. this one to this one to the top. And these just you twist that to lock it in. And then you can keep pulling it tight, but it won't go back the other way. So. Make sure these are got a bit of space for when you put them up. You do one section at a time. Okay. So now we it's working, is it? So you probably used one of these before. We've really got the kestrel with the weather vane. Um, I guess make sure it's calibrated before we put it together with the compass. Um, the instructions should be in the book on how to do that, but pretty much if you go to calibration settings, it tells you how to do it on the screen. So it's just a matter of um, snapping these into place. This is pretty much the weather vane set up. We made up a little adapter. Over so the, the adapter is going to go in the top. And then just tighten this off. And then unclip the uh, cover. Turn on the Kestrel first, make sure it's set up and logging. Um, I would probably put it at logging every 20 seconds, uh, but I'll go over that in the email.
and just screw it onto the adapter. This is not, I wouldn't worry about this being too level, as long as the pole's fairly level, um, it'll still spin around. And as long as you've got it facing the right way, then we'll get the correct compass direction. So now we'll put it up. Okay. So we start with the top section first. So as long as that's nice and the adapter's in there nice and tight, isn't gonna come out. Make sure the thumb screw on the first section is loose and all the others are tight. Make sure the uh, valve on the pumps done up tight and then just pump it up. When it's up at the top, tie off the uh, screw in the um, first thumb screw, the base of that section. If it doesn't pump all the way up, you can use your hand and then loosen the second thumb screw down. And once that one's up, tie it off, uh, tighten it up. We keep doing that for each section. Got to make sure there's plenty of rope for the guy ropes as they're going up. Sometimes this does get a bit sticky. We haven't gotten around to re-lubricating it yet. So that's all the sections are up now. Now we just have to tighten up the guy ropes, try and get it fairly level, um, and lock the guy ropes. So you wanna lock that one first. So you just twist the base of it. I think it's 90 degrees. Yeah, so it clicks in. Well, you had it locked, didn't you? Yeah, I had it locked, but just getting the rope Oh, light. you can keep pulling it down while it's locked, so you can pull it one way, but not the other. So you can pull it that way, not locked. To get a bit of tension on each one, if you over tighten it, um, you'll probably see it will bend, the mask will bend one way. You should have enough tension that it's not bending, but it's fairly straight. Pretty good. Uh, looks pretty good. If there's a bit of a wind, you might get a bit better idea of whether it needs a bit more tension. And that's putting it up. Putting it down. There are pins in the legs, make sure the pins are in the legs. Um, so make sure there's a bit of clearing around it. Um, I, I would think this would be fine to uh, be inside the burn as long as there's a bit of clearing area around it. So you make sure the cast was on <laughs> before it goes up. Because there's no way really to tell whether it's going once it's up, but certainly as long as it's spinning around, that's about all you can do. Taking it down, 
is pretty much just a matter of loosening the first section and then releasing air through the pump releasing the pressure lock off release Release. And keep doing that.